Support for Let's Talk Battle Rap Podcast is brought to you by Manscaped, who's the best in below-the-waist grooming. Manscaped offers precision engineering tools for your family jewels. Manscaped has been the best in the U.S. in premium men's grooming care, and now Manscaped has just launched in the U.K. That's right. Cheerio. Now, you guys have gone years without using the right tools for the job. And now you could be one of the first men in England to experience the life-changing products. Now, I remember back in the day, I tried to use one of those old-school traditional clippers on my family jewels. Let's just say the hands got caught up in an entanglement and they did not come out the way that I wanted them to. It was a little Nestle crunchy down there, all right? Well, that's why Manscaped has re-engineered their electric trimmer. The Manscaped engineering team has perfected the greatest ball hair trimmer ever created and just released the new and improved Lawnmower 3.0 in the UK. Cheers! Cheers for Lawn Manscaped! Their third generation trimmer features the cutting edge ceramic blade to reduce grooming accidents. When I tell you this is premium, I mean premium. The battery will last up to 90 minutes so you could take a longer shave. The waterproof technology allows you to groom in the shower. One of the coolest features is the LED light which illuminates grooming areas for a closer and more precise trimming. They've also upgraded to a 7000 RPM motor with quiet stroke technology. And let's not forget about that charging stand. Show your mower off loud and proud because its intelligently designed stand is a conveniently charging dock powered by USB. If you're listening to me speak right now, I want you to experience it firsthand for yourself. Let's get that bush to tush clean. Get 20% off plus free shipping and handling with code LTBR at manscaped.com. Make your testies your besties. Get 20% off and free shipping and handling with code LTBR at manscaped.com. That's 20% off with free shipping and handling at manscaped.com and use code LTBR. Your balls will thank you. To the finals, man. This was his this was his game that we're gonna remember forever. You know what I'm saying? This is the turning point for the Saint. Okay, so let's be clear. Saint definitely won the battle. Whether you got it 2 1, 3 0, he won the battle. Now, I do see people saying, well, if Diz didn't slip up in his first, it would be different. It might have been different because then it might have gave these judges a real, real, real tough decision to have to really focus on who really won this battle or are we going to fold yet again. But we didn't have to worry about that because Diz clearly lost that first. That stumble was big enough for me to say, no, you're not going to get that one, sir. Saint one out, okay? Now, I know I was – I like what Diz was saying in the second round. I did like Diz's first two, but he stumbled. Mm-hmm. But I gave – I give it clear to Saint 2-1, Three all. I'm not mad about three all, but at the end of the day, Saint won this battle, and Saint's third round was crazy. He was cooking, and yes, I have heard people say the fact that this is a culture vulture, but how he kind of like like tweaked it and made it a little bit like talking about the West and like how that shit was fire. That shit mm. was fire. I like how Saint did it. Saint was clean. Saint was good. Congratulations, young man. Now you got to come see my Detroit uh, legend, Marv, though. You got to see Marv, though. Yeah, man. Got to see Marv, though. Ben, I ain't no hater. Ben, like I said, if y'all don't think <laughs> I'm just going to come on here and just be a hater, I'm not no hater. I give props when it's credited, despite the fact I don't like Diz as a person. I ain't no hater. I'm not about to hate on what Diz did, because Diz has some moments. Diz was talking some shit, too. We're not about to say, sit here and say Diz did not say nothing. We're not going to do that. Get that hate out your heart, sir. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Oh. Your friends, you're muted. Friends, you're muted. Oh, I'm sorry, guys. You hear me? Yep. Sorry about that, y'all. Listen, I don't think you can play both sides of the coin on this, right? You can't say disaster is terrible and say Saints win holds so much weight. 
Saints win holds weight because disaster is somebody that is important, is a polarizing figure, Absolutely. and he has value regardless whether you hate him or not, whether you like his style or not. Beating disaster is something that four other contestants couldn't do, all right? Yeah, well, one person so. did, but they didn't allow him to get the win. <laughs> you can be important and terrible. That's true. Mm-hmm. That is true. Or Ben, two. Two people did. Hey, Ben, listen, man. He made it all the way to the final four. Respect the decisions, man. I'm just glad we don't have to deal with his nonsense anymore. I'm, that's what, like, I am over it. I I did not even listen to his post uh, battle remarks because I already knew it was going to be some bull. I, I'm just over it. I don't need another dis- disaster battle. Probably until I D.I.E. or he goes see Matt Hoffa. I'm good on any disaster. I'm good. I'm Gucci. I don't need another disaster battle. Well, he, does have, he does have 100 plus battles already. so I don't give a damn. He don't need another one. If you ask, see, see, shoot. no, do not book that man. No. He said he got a battle coming up. I ain't watching. I probably won't watch him. I can care less. Well, let's, let's throw it to the people, man. Let's move on to the finals, man. Uh, Saint, not only did he beat a legend to advance to the finals, he has to beat another legend to mm, win that 50K back to, bag. Yeah. Back-to-back legends for Saint. Probably a very career-defining moment for him because can he can he re- replicate that performance? Let's throw it to the people, man. Marv 1 versus Saint. Marv 1's had an excellent run during the Grand Prix. Really showed everybody who he who he is and what he's made of. Marv slipping up too damn much. He better get it together, says AZ. Saint 2 1 says DJ Dez. What do you guys think out there? Saint versus Marv, Marv says 1. M Lang. I got 8 Mile Marv 2 1 says Trolls. Mm-hmm. Marv 2 1 Edge says the Syndicate Group. Saint More Hungry, I think, says Goosey Goose. Marv is awesome, my dude. Keep reading. Saint keep on 100 reading. isn't beating Marv on 80. Oh, how you? <laughs> Lavish one. I didn't even say who I said was going to win yet. You're already telling me to shut up. <laughs> Damn, crazy. Oh, man. Yeah, you haven't even, Saint, you're, just, you're reading the chat. Saint definitely more hungry, but I got Marv 2 1. It's going to be fire, says Ben Swayze. <laughs> yeah, I know, man. Share that broadcast, man. This is, this is a really exciting finals match. Um, Again, I think the storyline for Saint is so amazing. If Saint was to conquer this, like he surpasses a lot of his peers. Right. Gradrum all the way from France says this is the most important battle of their careers. Oh. Yeah, maybe Marv not for versus Saint is gonna be a tough matchup. It's Might definitely, be Marv two one. It's a big battle for Marv, but it's definitely bigger for Saint than it is for Marv. Absolutely. I got Saint more passion and hunger, says A Z. Marv, Marv the one. CJC. Yeah, man. Ah, it seems that the audience, the chat's overwhelmingly with uh with Marv here. I'm not mad at them. I'm not mad at them. Marv has it's had the better run Tata. experience. Mm-hmm. Um there's a lot of factors that, that gives Marv a major advantage. And I want to throw it to our Detroit specialist. Marv <laughs> one versus Saint. Your thoughts. Okay. Now, this was what I hoped and predicted would happen. So I'm very excited that I got my wish that I'm going to see, you know, Lil Saint go up against the Detroit legend. I think they're both going to come in there. I don't think this is going to be a final that lets us down. Now, Mm. we have seen on other tournaments, when we get to the finals, it's a little lackluster. (laughs) Okay. But I feel like with this one, I have very, very high hopes that both of these guys are going to put on a performance, a performance that's going to be hard for the judges and hard for the culture to decide Mm -hmm. who won and who didn't, who's going to get that bag and who ain't. But I will say this to be fair, Marv won. You got to clean it up and you cannot stumble because if both of y'all come out, like I say, and both of y'all put on stellar performances it's gonna come down to your stumbling people mm-hmm. are going to say i can't give you that round because you just was not clean homie you got mm-hmm. to clean it up the stumbling the stopping the bring it back you can't do that with the money on the line Fifty thousand, nah hey, hey cc the chat says nah. the chat says you're stalling make your pick <laughs> oh, it's Detroit versus everybody. What the fuck? 
It's Detroit first, everybody. <laughs> we look, we look. All Bring day, back. every day. Detroit first, everybody. But <laughs> shout out to Saint. I'm proud of you. Regardless, you know, I'm proud of Saint. I'm happy for Saint. But it's Detroit versus everybody. Marv, 2 1. What? See, I echo the <laughs> sentiments. I echo the sentiments that CC was saying that Marv definitely has to stay clean in order to win. Because in the last battle versus Diz, I was like, yo, Diz, you slip up, you do anything of that nature, you are not going to take that victory home. And as we've seen, a lot of people, a lot of people do have it 3 0, but there's a gang of people that do have it 2 1. And the majority of the people that I've been speaking with are talking about, yo, if Diz wins that first, then Diz takes that battle. So this is the importance of staying clean because that was my condition for Saint to win. Now, granted, he did have dope all three rounds, but it still could have been a 2-1 either way. So Saint, keep on doing what you're doing. Marv, stay clean. Now, what are my thoughts of Marv staying clean all three of these rounds? I don't know, man. I feel like Saint has gotten the stumbling out of his system. I don't know if Marv has quite gotten it out at 100%. Glad is zagging. Yes. With all that being said, yes. I'm going to have to go with the young God. I'm going to have to go with Saint in this battle. Yes. Saint 2 1, yo. Let's go. (laughs) Hold up, O'Hare. You're not going to hold it down for the O'Hare? No, I'm going with Saint. I'm going with Saint on this one. Vlad said, wow. let a young nigga shine. Sit your old ass down. <laughs> see, see, see all heads. Look what he doing. Ain't going to be look what, what ain't going to be none of that. Wait, 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 wait a minute. What, 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 what I had meant to say. Hold on. Let me get that back for y'all now. You know what I'm saying? Like we, we can't afford to have that, yo. And after what Saint went through with this, all this nonsense about, did he get his dreads mushed? Was it a <laughs> fake? Was it a slap? Like what happened backstage? Like, he's got that extra energy now. And I feel like, in a way, Diz is like, take this with you, young man. Take all of this energy and, like, channel it. Because this is what people have been wanting to see from you. And now you're in that zone. You know what I'm saying? So I'm wow. going with the young god on this one. Thank you for the prop, Miss Marla. I you going against the uh, Gene hey, Short good morning, Nation, Marla. And you hey, with man. the young guns. I'm wow. Looking- I'm looking at what the analytics and the stats have been telling me and mixed with my eyeballs also. You know what I mean? This is why Lavish One told you to shut up earlier. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, Sue Surf Surf Lawyer. If Saint wins, should he stay on King of the (laughs) Dot? Look at this. Are you throwing him in free agency already? This is incredible. What up, Dolidge? No, I said this last night that, yo. Saint is going to be a hot commodity that every battle rap league is probably already in his DMs trying to get for 2021. KOTV, I don't know what you got to do, but you better hold on to that young man as long as you can because I'm telling you, the bags and the offers are already starting to come for that young man. And they're going to try to, they, bruh. Yo, I'm not going to front. You know how. Let them take that young man from you. Two things. I know for um, a fact Saint is going to terrorize all the Ultimate Madness 1 rookies. If he wins this tournament, because he's going to be like, not only that I battle one more time that you guys, I beat two legends in the process and I won double the bag. So he's going to just shit talk your chaoses, your six, your easies, your fonds. He's going to talk crazy to all of them. But I will admit, it will look very crazy if you win this 50K bag and then your next move in free agency is to go to URL. It would look, it would look absurd. Yo, bro, it would look terrible, man. It would really be like, a slap in the face to that entire northern culture. Everyone would be like, it would have, it would have been like if Anthony Davis won his ring and they said, "I'm going <laughs> to Chicago, it. guys." Later, what are you doing? We're trying to, we're trying to go back to back over here. What, what's wrong oh, with you? And here's the thing too, like Marla, admit it. KOTD, you know they can use a bunch of new young gunners. This guy is new. He's just coming into his prime. He he could be a little superstar over there for him. So if all of a sudden he's a superstar he starts. In the so if all of a sudden he's calling out all of these guys from URL, it's going to be like, hey, bro, you know, we have a bunch of rappers over here. You could be calling out eight. Hey. And if he's not calling them out, it's just kind of like, damn, son, we just put 50K in your, in your pocket. You know what I'm saying? We 
we we opened you up to this Twitch audience and all that live on Sundays, and now you're gonna be calling those guys out. I, I, we need to call out some guys over here. I want to address this message. Lavish says Kid Chaos will smoke, saying he better calm down. And I'm not gonna lie to you, this rookie class, skill wise, I do feel that they're all better than Saint. But if Saint wins this 50k bag, beating two legends, how can any of them say anything? He can literally say, "I have, I'm making Mook and Lux money here." Oh my goodness, yo. CJC says Kawhi left the North quick. <laughs> <laughs> Kawhi got that and was out of her. Well, I got that chip. He said, "Oh man, I won't be seeing you guys on ring day." See ya. <laughs> and then Kawhi choked Going in the second. Out of LA. Kawhi, well, hey, Kawhi, Kawhi choked. He choked in the second round. I ain't mad at that, brother. LeBron and them got that ring. That's all I needed to 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 help me with this COVID with all the. Wait, let, I, let, 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 wait, let's start. The, let's start the pot while we well before we leave this subject. Mm-hmm. If Saint was to win the, the the Grand Prix, is he ahead of all the rookies from UM One? Did he have a better year than them? I mean, you would have to put it. Uh, I, well, I mean, yo, if you beat Diz and Marv in a tournament, that has to count for look, something. I see yo. yes, I see that, no. That I has see, to count look, for look, something. I see yes, man. no, That's nah, easy, point. all except for easy. Yeah, yes, yes. To be bruh, honest, bruh. And you're just saying UM one. You know what I'm saying? You're not saying beyond that in the in the battles they've been having with the vets, right? Just tournament for tournament, you mean? Yeah, yeah, yeah. If we're going for tournament for tournament and you end your tournament off facing Diz and Marv One, I'm sorry, man. J versus Fonz does not equal up to Diz or Marv One. You feel what I'm saying? Or Holmesy versus Bill Collector in my book. Especially at the fact that Bill, I mean, Bill Collector's like, on legend status now for me. You know Bill's what I'm a legend, but he's he on legend status. He didn't right. put up a fight. He didn't put up a fight. Yeah, Marv yeah. One gonna put up a fight for Saint. Yeah, he's yeah. going to put up a fight. So again, it's levels to this, and mm-hmm. performances and outcomes do matter too. Like yeah, it might look good on paper, Holmesy versus Bill Collector, but were you ex- were you happy? Right, right. After they battled, no, a lot of people didn't like that finals. Yeah. They didn't like it. Hardcore flavor with like the hard one. statement. He will pass the top five rookies right now. Mm. Who said that? Hardcore I, flavor. I will say this though. I agree with Marla. Shout out to Marla. She in the chat. When we talk about business, money talks. Hmm. Money talk, and I'm telling y'all, them offers is the lies, the lies, the lies, the lies, says Lavish One. <laughs> y'all, man. Bill it's Collector is a legend, Dave. We're not gonna do that to Bill. Bill, I feel uh, like Bill Collector's a legend out here, man. You you ain't gonna be able to go to Philly and stand on, on that t- on ten tiles and say he not no legend. He's got so He's many a moments. Legend. You take his name. CJ C already starting it. He said he said it's different on URL. I mean he says it's different on URL. I mean. And Bill Collectors bounced back into the culture after he had a crazy run in with Hitman. The first get the first song or show off the first song round. You know, he's come back into our love and grace. It's like, come on now, we're not about to do that. And he arguably beat Hitman. And look at what's happened since then. Let's go, man. We're not gonna do that to Bill. And he put on for often madness with a heavy heart despite the fact we did not like his finals. We're not gonna do that to Bill. Mm-hmm. No nah, man, we're not doing that to Bill. Well, Saint, Saint did have a good year too, man. I mean, uh, Ledge just reminded us that he bodied QP. No Ledge, QP bodied himself, according to everyone who was in the building. You know what I'm saying? Saint happened to be rapping against that man. I don't know who <laughs> showed up <laughs> in his body when he showed up, but that wasn't the QP that battled that we know and love. You know what I'm saying? Hey, but look, no, but I, Saint had a great year though, man. Saint's having a great year. If he closes it off this way, look, I'm gonna say this. If I had to p- make a pick, whether I would rather be sick, chaos, easy in those guys, or would I rather be Saint with 50k, I think I know what what I rather would be. Give me the bag. Yeah, but then we got to think long term too. The bag. You know what I'm saying? Long term, how far will he be able to go on KOTV? Will he be able to get everyone that he wants to get? How is that future looking? How often will he be battling? You know what I'm saying? Because as we see, the machine over there that's known as the ultimate rap league has been providing us with countless entertainment through the pandemic, might we add? You know what I'm saying? So we know there's going to be a constant check that's coming 
every month if you want to be out there for it, every two months, whatever the case yo, is. Um, yo, yo, how about this? I know what's going on how, in Canada, fam. How, how about this? How about this? What if Saint tells King of the Dot, hmm. I want a three battle contract and I want these exact opponents and I want this price. And if I don't get it, I'm walking. <laughs> yeah, be a fool to let him walk. Listen, bro, go strike while the iron is hot. What if Saints like, yo, give me pass. I'm tired of him ducking. Mm. All right. Give me a ward and I want to, and I want a shot at the chain. Mm. I mean, a ward's gang, so they probably won't battle, but I'm just throwing demands out there. <laughs> and he wants rent and a car for each. That's hilarious. Oh, hardcore flavor. All right, man. Let's transition over to mm. URL, man. Let's talk a little bit about volume uh, six. Now the weekend is settled and aye, the dust aye, is aye. stormed. And, you know, uh, I've I seen a lot of people in the timelines like, why isn't the Grand Prix winner? A, why isn't the Grand Prix winner a <laughs> champion of the year contending, right? I've been seeing that all weekend. And in my head, I'm like, the Grand Prix winner is going to get a bag literally 10 times the size of champion of the year. I don't think they should be complaining. That's just my opinion. But money talk. We talking. We talking loud on this money tip. It's Yo, tr- but it's, it's just the truth. It, money talk, bullshit walk. It's just the truth. Now I want to ask the people, man: Is the the champion of the year race has it narrowed down? Is it now down to K Shine and Chilla Jones? Is it a mm. two man race? Let's throw it to the people. What do you guys say out there? Mm. Oh God! Because a Grand Prix is a tournament, though. People out here saying, "Oh, who?" Yeah, listen, man. You Canadians saying that Pat beat Shine. I don't know what they're. Y'all I don't know what they're sprinkling in that stuff. You what? Guys buying the Wait, dispenser. what? That, that's in the chat. That's really there. Hold on, let me scroll up. Who said that? <laughs> he said people are saying it. Show me these people. Show me these Bring people. Who are these people? As Beanie Man would say, "Wow, hey, Shine was trash. Shine versus Clips and Pat wasn't it. Ooh, Chilla in first place. Chilla and Ill Will says JP run this." Tata said, Tata said it with her chest. That battle with Sean and Pat was ass. Sean didn't give a champion a year performance. She said that shit with mm, her chest. Good. That's that Canadian tap water. Chilla 2-1. Beat out still champion Gucci, of the year. Ben Sean. Oh, I'm surprised I'm not really seeing that many ill wills up here either. I seen Chilla a few Saint, wills. Shine, all contenders. I seen a few wills. I seen a few wills. Y'all just going to ignore ill? No, nah, not at all. Will top three. Not mad at that. Shine. All the contenders looked iffy. Oh, uh, Chilla ain't look iffy, man. Harley says, Shine's bars are aging well. I just rewatched it. It gets better if you skip Pat's bars. I ain't mad at that. I definitely want to give a lot of these battles rewatches. Absolutely, man. That's that's one of my biggest takeaways from Saturday, friends. I think Who type K Shine was trash? Take these stones. <laughs> Andrea Speaks says something. She says, I think the way it was shot made volume I six all it. look odd. A Hollywood set was ass. Oh, by the way, I am sending out the bat signal. Hey, take it easy. Anyone. Take it easy. Take it easy. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Last time I did that, last time y'all did that, JB was in the chat and he felt some type of way. You know. Well, you me? know we love you, JB. Listen, it's not man. our fault. You do so great. We want to see it right away. <laughs> hey, listen. <laughs> I'm just saying. That <laughs> chick, that set was Nothing but love, player. No, the what set was that fire. The set was fire. It looked dope, man. What? I think, you know what it is for me? I I wasn't too fond of looking at the backs of all these gentlemen, you know, for a long part of the evening. So that's my thing. I thought the set looked good. I thought the backdrop, the streets, the cars. But I don't know. Maybe they were saying that the, the crowd was giving up cheers and stuff like that. I wasn't able to hear that. Maybe that also threw some things off because you see an audience, but you don't hear anything from the audience. I didn't really hear nothing. That's what I'm saying. But they were saying that people were turning up. So the visual experience for me was just like, at times I'm like, yo, what's happening right now? Like it was just too much. Like I liked it, but there was just something that was just like throwing me off. You know, guys are rapping. You're looking at their backs after a while. You know what I'm saying? It's like, yo, man, I could start looking at my phone and just listening. You know oh, what I mean? So, so I hold feel on, what, like what, what, should have turned around a lot more. Real quick, we'll talk about aesthetics in the next segment because we're definitely going to talk yeah, a little yeah. bit about caffeine. But sure. st- staying on par right here, K. Shine and Chilla Jones. Do you believe this is a two man race now? And who's in the lead? And if it's not these two, you can suggest a different name as well. I mean, I, I got. I don't think it's a two man race. I think you got to throw Ill Will in in there because he did 
in my opinion, clearly beat the ball god. You know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Took him to intersecting universe. He's had a great year also. And I got it. You know, Chilla Jones, Shine, and Ill Will. Those are my top three now. Here we go, Tata. Tata, you're going to be mad at me when we oh, get there. But, uh, you get Tata going to be mad Tata. at me. But um, I'm going to say this. Mm-hmm. Chilla definitely had a... I feel like... Because K-Shine was not good. Like, K-Shine was light. See, I don't want to say that because... was so bad. It was like, yeah, he did body pack, but it was like... I think what's happening like is a, that... It wasn't like a like a good body. Like, it's not a rememberable, rememberable body. It's not like I could walk away with a lot from you either, Shine. Like, y'all both left a lot to desire after this battle. See, y'all I, both were not that awesome. So it's like, yeah, you got the job done. We're going to move on. And people are probably going to bring up the fact you three out, Pat, and your argument. But... It wasn't a good battle, y'all. Now I know that, I know that, I know that Pat Stay was not good at all, except for that second round. He has some moments in there, but other than the second round, it wasn't good. Like he knows it. We all know it. Canada knows it. They're not even trying to defend him. I feel like with Pat being so lackluster, it really kind of made me to shine stuff out just a little bit. You know what I'm saying? So I, I want to watch that battle one more time. So I don't feel like Shine was bad. It's not like I was like, oh, this is ass or whatever. It was just like, yeah, you're clearly winning this battle. And, you know, the third was a little weird for me, though, Shine. That the Pat Stay impersonation and what was the whole, and the whole black, black power joy. Like, I get it. You know what I'm saying? Everyone's been reading books in the pandemics and they get knowledge of self and all that. But it got a little weird for me. I'm looking at your back the whole time and you're doing an impersonation so that don't it's sound like, like him. So it just threw me off. The whole thing just kind of threw me off in the third. But I think his first and the second was all right, though. But I do want to see it again just to see if it was as light as everyone is making it out to be or was I just tripping? But it's still a three-man race, though. Pat was, yo, DJ did. Pat was so cringy throughout the battle more than one time and i i'm one of the people i cringe and when i'm embarrassed for other people i'm like one of the people i'd be embarrassed for you like i feel the embarrassment like he i just felt that a lot of times during his rounds and it was just kind of like like yeah. okay like let's be real we understand that y'all was supposed to have battled a while ago and yes i feel like maybe i was wrong maybe we should have waited for this to be on stage in front of a crowd Maybe that was another thing. Maybe I was wrong because I didn't think that Pat was going to have a hard time. I really didn't. And I said this. I will hold myself accountable. I said that nobody was going to get 30. Wrong. That's also that, <laughs> that's also that last minute preparation. Pat, Pat was saying this was some last minute preparation. And even watching last the battle, minute. even watching the battle, I'm like, yo, Pat, you had to have written this in like no. the last 48 hours, B. Like, there's no way you prep this a week in advance. This is some last minute, 48 hours writing. And it truly showed, you know, like, I don't know. Everyone, including myself, was waiting for a, a <laughs> great <laughs> potential all-time battle, especially since Shine was really talking it up and how much he respected you. And you really just came and showed your ass, literally. And speaking of showing your ass, literally, Pat, like, we don't do that over here, man. Like, this ain't yeah. Gene Shorts Nation. Like, uh. what this ain't... This ain't, you know what I'm saying? Like, we're not doing this, man. It, this is not what we do over here. Like, keep that for above the border. We don't want to see your pasty white bum. I'm sorry. Like, no thank you, man. Like, no pork over here, man. We ain't doing all that. Wait, I, I want to I wanna give a quick take on Pat Stay. <laughs> Real quick. I have a quote from K-Shine here. I'm going to read it. Um, Terrible. K-Shine says... I took him, regarding Pat Stay, very serious, and I feel like he didn't take me as serious as he could have. Keishan was really hurt that he felt like Pat Stay came in with that little, little performance. And I want to say this, right? As elite as Pat Stay is, people made it sound like Pat Stay was unbeatable. Although Keishan was an overwhelming favorite, wrong. Pat Stay has been beaten 3-0 in the past plenty of times by Marv 1, by Ilmac when he gave up the chain, by Big K. This guy is not invincible. And... I'll say this much. During his champion of the year run 2018-2019, he's had battles where 
His third round against Danny Myers, he's freestyling. His battle against Suge, he said it. He had his material the week of. You know, so he kind of showed you who he was ahead of time with this last minute prep. And he's been delaying this battle due to COVID. And also been saying adamantly the entire year, this, this setting is not what he likes. So maybe we, instead of us forcing the battle on him, we should have just allowed him to say, listen, this isn't this isn't the time for me, nor this is the personal, emo, emotional, mental space for me to do this battle. And this isn't the environment for me to do this battle. Pat Stay is still a great. I'm not going to take this bad game, uh, like, docking so much points like i still want to see him in the future but it was a very disappointing battle especially knowing how elite both these names are and what were we expecting from it right and just knowing how people are gonna go about it they're gonna be like yeah sean you know he did beat pat stay but pat didn't even show up so does it really matter blah 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 like for in a weird way it's gonna end up hurting him because the other guy didn't do as well or just didn't even take it serious so you know, there's people out there who's going to look also look at it that way. So oh. it's, a, it's a hurt to his brand. He had a chance to have one of those all-time battles, and it just came out flat, and people are not going to be re-watching this battle. You know, Shine, Shine, Shine has this really weird thing where, like, he he's good, or it, maybe if you don't feel like he's great, he's still good. Like, if you, I heard somebody say earlier in the chat today, like, they ran back the battle, you know what I'm saying? And they said the material was better, it aged better, and I believe that. Like, his clips battle, clips was underwhelming. His chest battle, chest didn't, you know, chest didn't meet the bar. He didn't meet K-Shine there. The E-Heart battle, E-Heart chokes. So it was like, right. what is Shine doing to his opponents that is making his their opponents not come to the level that they're known for? That's not his fault. And more importantly, he's securing the win. Like, like on Thursday and Friday before Volume 6, saying K-Shine with 30 pats stay sounded like an like, illogical sentence. And today it's a reality. That's got to hold some weight for Shine for sure. Absolutely. I mean, yeah, it does, man. But you know how people's brains work. You know what I'm saying? Na nasty, why, nasty wins yeah. they, they take away from it. I don't get it. Like, what do y'all want? Do y'all want the victory or do, <laughs> or do you want it to be flashy? Like, what? Like, what, what is this? And this is why every year it hurts Shine. Because, you know, when he was battling the Enesses and the Young Cannons, and these guys are names. Like, these are people who we, you know, you, you'll celebrate an Enes, you know, if you hear that he's on a card. You're happy about it. Young Cannon is a consummate professional. But he goes in there, makes them look super regular, and then it's like, well, it's just those guys. But now you got Pat Stay, and Pat Stay, he peed all over the bed, and it's now it's like it's going to be kind of held against Shine for the fact that this man didn't show up. And it's just not fair, man, year after year that he has to go through this. I agree. Um, but we were mentioning Ilwar earlier. Uh, as you guys know, there's a rumblings. It hasn't been confirmed yet, but Prep says that he's battling Ilwar real soon. Mm. And if the battle happens this weekend on Born Legacy 11, can Ilwar still be in the runnings? Hell yeah. He in the running, period. I see what? yes. I see yep from Boss Man six one five and four times seven. Chris from Canada says yes. He need a better performance. Says the Syndicate Group. Yes, even so with the loss to uh, uh, loss to Danny. All right, Tata. What? Oh, Tata. Okay. Tata, we might have to zoom you in, Tata. Let you get your I point across. You know oh, 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 Tata. If you free and want to zoom in and discuss <laughs> your boy. Danny Myers, let us know. You know what I'm saying? DJ Dad says Tata's ass Day drunk one. on a Monday right? morning. Oh, 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 man. Tata oh, drinking Tata. that whiskey and that coffee, man. Oh, she's working and Zoom and can't. All right, Tata, I'm going to holler at you on Twitter. You know what I'm saying? You've been a day one supporter. You've been a heavy contributor to Prop Gang every single day. So maybe Thursday, if you got some time or some time this week when you're free, you can come up here and discuss with us what you've been oh, thinking Tata. all year because you've been very vocal in the chat, Tata. Look. So if Will 30's prep, if it still goes down, does he have a chance to snatch the gold? Yeah. I say yes. I say he already in the top three. I mean, he definitely can't get smoked by prep, but I don't Ooh. see that happening. So... Yeah, Hell he's yeah, in the top man. three. You got to because, I mean, like we said, he 32 people <laughs> a few minutes apart. He 30 John John. He had a dope battle versus Don Marino. Did his thing there. And then if he comes out here in 30s prep a week later, Hell yeah, he's in the running, man. Like to, to say he wouldn't be in the running, that'd be 
blasphemous. That would, be a, that would be a disservice to battle rap and someone who shows up, gives you what you want. Listen, man, he showed up to that face off and turned a face off that potentially could have been a snooze fest into something that was fire because he was talking to Danny greasily, man. So, and then Danny had to turn up, but it was just like, yo, when Ill Will gets to talking, Yo, he got me tuned in. I tell you what, he raised my expectation level a little bit higher for that battle. I'll tell you that much. Look, I don't feel like, look, he don't even need a battle prep before the end of the year. Like, on, on God, he's in there for the running. Like, I don't understand why this is even, like, this battle is needed for him. Like, he's in the running. Like, we gonna talk about it, but honestly, B Dot, he took a few. Mm. He took a few spots. He, 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 he ranked low mm. now. On that top five, he not in my top three right now, which for champion of the year. Okay, we'll talk about it though. But uh, yeah, it will definitely go. It's top three. He should definitely be top three. Y'all crazy. Y'all crazy talk. First of all, y'all was just saying last week. All he got to do is beat Danny, and he did. So now y'all trying to say, oh, he got to beat another. No, y'all love to keep moving the goalposts. I hate that. I hate that about y'all sometimes. I love y'all, but I hate when y'all do that, fam. Y'all always moving the goalposts from ill will. It shows you how crazy how just winning and losing one battle can really take you out of these runnings, man, because B-Dot's been doing crazy all year. And then he announces to the world, I lost to Chilla Jones, man. Like, I lost. You don't even give the people an opportunity to fight for you because, you know, there's people like Jazz who just because you stumbled, if your material is better, you win the round, you know what I'm saying? But once you say, yo, I lost and you conceded, you cannot turn back around and say, I'm sorry, y'all. I'm sorry. I take the concession back. I want you guys to finish counting these votes. I, we got a new bag of votes. They just yeah, dumped them over here. You can't though. do that, brother. So he goes from what a lot of people were saying was number one. Now he's like, eh, the highest he could get it four in the eyes of a lot of people. Because I don't want to say I'm stirring up a narrative. You know what I'm saying? So it's looking a little crazy out here, yo. What you, what, what, what you, what you, what you see, CC? What you see, CC? What's going on over there? Anthony just said that Danny two won. Wait a minute. Where is this good? Wow, B dot lost and I'm a dead. Yeah, B dot lost. He did lose. Yeah. But God, y'all, y'all crack me up. Damn, boss man the said he couldn't even watch it. Danny wow. won clear. Wow. Danny did not oh, win. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> Danny the did not lies, win. The lies, the lies, the lies. <laughs> oh, it's a whole bunch. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh the God. Yikers is coming. Oh, Yikers Island is here. Okay, we might have to do a poll. We might have to do a poll. I'm about to put it up. Oh, brother. Here we up. go. Put Danny winning and put Ill Will winning. You guys can upvote who you got winning, yo. This is fantastic. Here we go. Where we at? Ill Will. CC put up the Ill Will. Put up the Danny. Oh, Ill Will's has changed colors already. Oh, here we go. Danny's chasing him now. So y'all got this debatable? Oh, man. Y'all serious? I know y'all not serious. They serious. <laughs> Oh my gosh. And then people are even typing it in, yo. They're like, it's not enough for me to just press the upvote. I need to type Danny. Harry Truman. This is insane. He I took him to the intersecting yo, I, I universe. Got, I, I have just a photo for Tata, man. Oh, uh, this is this is this is just for her right here. Let me, let me. <laughs> There you go, Tata. Look what you did, Tata. That's hilarious. Uh... <laughs> oh, Miss Marla. Yes, I think Danny got it. Even in that outfit. She said, yes. <laughs> That's hilarious, friend. Yo, Danny went that to Jimmy Jazz. Tata. Danny went to like the hood legend of Jimmy Jazz and said, give me that mannequin right there. <laughs> I want to wear that. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, this will go perfect with the now and later LeBrons I just got. Yo, I'm surprised. I didn't think I was gonna have to like really argue anybody on this battle. <laughs> oh my god, but, uh, Daddy was I dressed like a VIM spring collection. France did ill will stumble. You know what ill will did? 
He sang some R. Kelly all night. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> That's what Hold he did. Up now. But he did. But he did. He did. Don't get us canceled. He he did stumble though. He he sure did, man. Danny the Third after Ill Will's Intersect Universe bars and skin. I know y'all not giving Danny the Third. Mm mm. Danny was dressed like a Sour Patch Kid. Danny, and look Danny, like we not gonna do that because I love you, Playboy, and I don't care about fashion. I really don't give a damn what y'all be wearing. But you not about to be the one. You not about to good us. No, goods can talk about how people dress. You can't. So what you had on that night, anyway, was looking like you trying to be twenty four again. No, daddy, sir, I'm not daddy gonna look like that. Daddy look like a, a Daddy look like a hood Power Ranger. <laughs> This is not me, Danny. This is not me. Danny was dressed like Spider Man. Nah, Danny. <laughs> Danny Telly Tubby says the right chat. Right oh. <laughs> Danny damn near had a Rex roll out. Oh my god. Danny, I'm, Danny, you was confident oh, in that outfit because I know it's new. You had what? just bought that. You thought she was doing something that night, so you had you felt like you could say something. No, Danny. I'm not gonna let you do that, but I mean it with love. Oh my god. But one no, of, I'm not gonna let you do it. One of Danny's kids is dressed in <laughs> Danny. Danny That's dressed fire. like a now later pack. Oh my god. This is foul. I'm not gonna let you do that, Danny. Listen, every I'm time not. every time Danny comes up on the show, it can never end civil. So Danny I, I, was I, dressed like a oh. twister mat. Yo, I, you guys have to stop. <laughs> You have to stop. Do not continue writing these in the chat. Don't continue writing them. All right, Vlad. Danny I, going to show us gets his whole mannequin off the get his whole fit off the mannequin. Vlad, Vlad, stop me. Oh, they got the tombstone prop. You guys have to listen, stop. Listen, listen, listen. You listen. have to stop doing this in the chat. You have to stop. Don't do it anymore. This stop. is not good. Vlad, listen, Vlad, listen to me. I need you to, to, to stop giving them light. And I need you to give us some peace because this we, we need some sage. We need some oh, peace in here. Man. A Rubik's Cube. Yo, salute to the peacewatches.com. Our sponsor, the peacewatches.com, is a black owned social safety app. If you don't know about it, you have to learn about it. All right. I need you, your crew, your family, your whole block. If we take this from block to block, neighborhood to neighborhood, we could all try to keep each other a little bit safer. Let's say you're pulled over by the police or you get detained while you're walking for no damn good reason, and you want to let everyone within a 10-mile radius who has this app know that you have been detained, all you got to do is drop your location, and it will say, stop by the police. It'll drop exactly where you're at, and your family members, your block, your friends can all show up for you. So go to thepeacewatches.com, download the app, and stay on code. Friends, time to move on, (laughs) y'all. Oh man, what I miss, yo! Somebody said Danny was dressed like the '90s Carl. <laughs> Carl Kenny Ed, kid and play. That oh, shit was, man. yo. People love that shit in Detroit. That's why that shit is hilarious to me. Oh my god! But no, Smack, Smack, you gotta get packed up too. That outfit you had on last night too. That looked like some throwback, 2010. <laughs> Jean tie dye outfits, bro. We not doing that. Cece, oh, can I can I just do that? Cece, can I say this? Oh my god! So hold on, hold on, Cece. Cece I don't want, I don't understand why Danny's getting all this criticism for his <laughs> fashion, and Chilla Ooh. Jones is just going straight under the radar with that vest. We right? ain't get to that oh! battle yet, friends. We ain't get to that battle yet. Here, boy. <laughs> Danny stole the Fresh Prince outfit. Oh man! What the hell was that? <laughs> you guys Chilla. have to stop. Where the hell you get that vest on it? Who told you you was doing something? Uh, <laughs> Daddy and Pat had on. You? Daddy and Pat had on fifteen outfits together. <laughs> <laughs> that goddamn when he walked up on set, just like I was like, "What is he a superhero? Like what?" So Chilla can't be Stone head? Cold Austin for a night. You see, Ledge. You see, Ledge. You're joining us, Ledge. <laughs> You're that joining us, brother. Was tragic. <laughs> That oh. vest, yo, somebody said that shit was on Amazon and it better not have been on Amazon Chiller. Oh, my man Chilla Jones looked like he was fresh off the set of Sons of Anarchy, son. My G, <laughs> is that how y'all rock in Boston? Yo, that vest was ill, man. What was that, snakeskin? Straight that R&B was not snake. That was plugger. 
That was not no damn animal skin. Listen, man, my son Chilla Jones said, you know what? I'm finna be live on caffeine. All of these other rappers are dropping names of people on the timeline, talking about Chilla this, Chilla that, <laughs> turning a ghost face with the fans. I'm like, all right, Chilla, your business out in the streets now? What's going on here? All right, you know man, let's, 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 so let's, let's get into that, okay, man. Hardcore, let's get into got, that, because I know CC, on, de Chilla? CC definitely had a lot to say about it. And, uh, shout out to Good, because that Dior oh long God. sleeve, though. That Iguana was skin. Oh, man. All right, man. Let's talk about Chilla Jones and beat out. This is we're already here. Uh, Chilla Jones, man. How impressive was Chilla Jones on Volume Six against beat out? Chilla Jones was just as impressive as that vest was, brother. Oh my goodness! I'll tell you that much. You about to go get one? I. You never know, man. You know what I mean? Vlad, don't do that. I will you know what I'm saying? That's old right, heads. Let's read the chat. Let's read the chat, y'all. Chilla second. All right, was he insane. was very impressive. Chilla's third. He did what he had to do, says Graham. Chilla had the right. best night. Chilla's second legend and third. Says, legend says he wasn't impressive. He was actually boring. What? Chilla's second and third showed levels. He's more than just a schemer, says Raheem Hefner. It was beat out battle to lose. Chilla had I agree with Cortez that. as a ghostwriter? What? Hey, Lex. Hell no, nah, man. Chilla was Chilla. Thumbs up, says Miss Marla. Hey, good morning, Lex. How are you? If B dot oh, don't f up, he loses. Hmm. If it was a fifth, we'd all be drunk. Thank you, Miss Caramel, for the props. Was he battler of the night? Trump back in that lead, but you oh. He can argue for it. I tell you that much. He did better than a lot of people. Ars was battler of the night. No says Dave's eleven. Yes says four times seven. I'm still mad that he said he ghostwrites for battlers. I need Ooh! to. Oh, oh! Hey, I need mean names. Shoe gang in the building. Good morning. Chilla dropped his stock. Project Rico. How did Chilla Jones drop his stock? It's a lot of criticism here over a Damn. win. He got the guys. He got the win. And more importantly, and, and more importantly, Chilla Jones went uphill. He literally got better every round this battle. Yo, <clears> and Chilla <throat> Jones in that third round was. Yo, I think Chilla was going to go there, man. I know Chilla for rapping and scheming and trying to joke every once in a while when he gets a guy like Prep or gets a guy like um, Saga. You know what I'm saying? But I did not see Chilla Jones going the route of talking about B-Dot's family life. Me talked about, you know, in the, res the most tiptoey, respectful manner, but is still kind of borderline disrespectful somebody could get mad at it talking about his children he talked about his you know the the, the mother of his children he talked about be that not being man enough to stand up to things and i was like damn bro so is this what it feels like when b dot be talking to everybody else because like i'm watching b dot's mannerisms and i'm going yo is he gonna sock chilla jones like what's happening right now okay, Harley. Okay. it got I, crazy I, 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 I didn't expect that from chilla jones yo I have he to, showed me that killer instinct I, I gotta ask cc two questions one what did you think of chilla jones third round and two what did you think of b dot airing out some dirty laundry during the battle okay so I agree with Vlad about oh, Chilla's third. Like, but I feel like also B dot kind of opened that door because one hand I, I appreciate you you know you know sharing what you shared versus Holmesy like that's crazy what you're going through. But Ballers will take that and use it as an angle against yourself. So I feel like that's kind of what happened. But I will say this now I said it on Saturday night like do not bring people out y'all if they not going to add to your mm. round or the bar you try to land that shit with Nunu was ass that was ass that did nothing that made me cringe that was another cringe part of the night was when Nunu came out was just like yeah 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 <laughs> yeah girl go oh, back in your man. corner because hey. that did nothing that, hey, that Jay, actually Jay in the building. Down, what that up, hurt Black. me guys round Perfect to be timing. honest with me like, I deducted points because that shit was ass. It was not no hate. That shit did nothing for his round or what he was saying. He could have just said that, and she could have been in the back where she belonged. And did, if she wasn't going to add to it, just stand in the back and cheer. Like, that did nothing for him. It did nothing. And then, you know, the Miss Cream, you know, shout out to Miss Cream because that's my girl. 
I rock for Miss Cream. I don't care what what be going on. That ain't none of my business. That ain't none of my business. Okay? Yes. But B Dot tried to go there. Maybe he felt like Chilla was gonna go there with his own personal shit. So he had a personal for Chilla. I just don't feel like I don't know. It just I don't know. I don't yeah. know. Listen, I don't know. I don't know. Chilla Jones. Chilla Jones showed me that killer instinct, friends. I, I I expected him to maybe try to out rap, but the route that he went, and you know Chilla with his wordplay, and it's like, yo, mm-hmm. is Chilla talking to beat out right now? Here's the thing. And it didn't have to be on, let me just get this off. It didn't have to be on no, mm-hmm. oh, you know, you're a fake gangster this or fake revolutionary that or testing one's manhood or whatever. But my man, dad ass went in there and got personal with him, you know, with content that was already out there and made it sound like he was talking to him. We ain't seen that for Chilla in a hot second, man. So he did what he had to do. I, I think what's so impressive about the battle is prior to the battle, when Jay Black and Surf was talking, Surf was kind of hinting like, you know, like Chilla Jones just like hasn't really been around URL as much. Um, what B Dot gives them is a better feel. Rico. They're both they're both pens, but B Dot's from like the streets. B Dot can right, talk about right, things that I can right, relate to, right. and I, and I caught those subtle little things saying oh, just like I heard all of that, you know, and I and I, I and, I, and, I, and I, I can read between the lines and all that context, right? Read and, between the lines, right? And so when B Dot's first round, it's like oh, like this is this it? B Dot's gonna like smoke Chilla Jones, like that's what it felt like in the atmosphere. It literally <laughs> was his battle to lose. Um, it was like the Clippers having a 17 point lead against the Nuggets in game five and then blowing it away. <laughs> That's exactly what happened. <laughs> I but, mean, B Dot has some shit too, though. You know, he was kind of talking about Chilla, you know, KOTD stuff and all that stuff. He had, like, B Dot had good, good stuff. It just was not packaged all the way together. Right. I feel like, like I said, the second round had a cringe worthy moment, which made me kind of like go in and out of what. What else he had to say? Because I literally was just like, when I cringe, I cringe, y'all. Like, I, 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 I don't yeah. know. It and just I, didn't work for me. But I, it I, did not work for me. Hold on, I want, it I wanna, did not work. I want to talk about B dot because he was really critical of himself. He admitted defeat. He says, "I think Chilla got that battle." Um, no! and, 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 all, and in all his interviews, he says he's going to sit down and evaluate what went wrong. In fact, him being so hard on himself has made fe- the the fans. Uh, in the comment sections on Twitter, uh, Battle Rap Reddit, everywhere. They're, like, humbled. They're like, wow, like, Bida can admit his loss. Like, a lot of battlers can't do that. What do you guys oh, think no. out there about Bida admitting his <laughs> loss and saying that he needs to sit down? Look, I'm going to say this, because I relate to Bida. We are perfectionists, and we are very, we are our worst critics. We are hard on ourselves and we do not meet like perfection. And there's nothing anybody is going to be able to say to be that right now that's going to make him feel any better. So that's that. But I will say that, you know what, B-Dot, you have been MVP for most of the year. Almost on every card, you have even been best performer of the night or you have had the battle of the night because a lot of what you was doing too. So do not be Mm. tough on yourself because 2020 was your year you had a great year regardless of if you won this battle or not it will not have changed how i felt about you this year so shout out to b dot period mm-hmm. sue surf's lawyer is saying that uh b dot admitting his loss like actually legitimizes the sport just a little bit more for him also uh no more props b dot uh kept it real life uh real while the chiller haters tried to make a case most important he respects the fans. That's a big one also, man. Uh, he should revamp his style, I'm seeing. This is what tweaked in the past. Stay in your lane, B Dot. <clears throat> I wouldn't want B Dot's to I wouldn't want to be B Dot's next opponent though, says Juan. Okay. I wanna say this. I wanna say this in regards to B Dot saying he needs to sit down. Um I guess maybe he had a whole game plan and in the moment, you know, things could happen. And if you just look at statistically like when battle rappers are on good runs they're they're due for one of those performances where things just don't go as planned but a year ago 365 days from today he's returning back to battle rap against oops getting his like wind up a year later he's a top four or five battle rapper in the planet you know this is still a career high year for him he made it yeah. to summer madness battle t top <clears throat> jones he beat rum he gave rum nitty his first loss on the app 
like yeah. like <laughs> Rum Nitty was damn near a god on this application. You you feel me? So by no means at all did he have uh, an unsuccessful year. In fact, he had a career high year that he should be extremely proud of. Very proud of. Very proud. Like straight up. Straight up. We have seen a lot of people struggle in this bubble. A lot of vets have struggled in this bubble and B dot has been putting on stellar performances all year long in that classic rooftop battle versus saga. I will not allow you to do that, B dot. I'm not gonna allow it. But I get it, you're a perfectionist. I'm the same way. <clears throat> yeah, okay, yeah, Bree. Okay. okay, Bree, we're not gonna go there. We staying on volume six. B dot definitely had a great year <laughs> and France, I gotta admit it, brother, I was actually pretty surprised to see <laughs> How bummed he looked after this, man. Like, he really looked like he took it to heart. A lot of times, a lot of guys would be able to fake it, you know, and say, hey, I still got this, or still a great battle. It's up to the fans or whatever. But to see that he took it that much to heart, man. Yeah. Of course. He's been with all the line. I'm sorry to cut you off, but yeah. But it it definitely makes me respect him. You know, like, I I know what we always say. Battle rappers shouldn't say that they lost. And I'm like, hey, in the grand scheme of things, when you – you're out there, let the fans decide because they're the ones ultimately who want to continue to see you or whatever. So leave it up in their hands, you know, but I think, you know, everyone in the culture knew how important this battle was and the fact that he didn't make it through cleanly, it really it really got to him, man. So I, I do respect that he takes the craft that seriously. But I wonder what went wrong. Like at the bottom of, at the, at the, at the top of the second round, he had to have been feeling like, oh, this is mine's, right? Pressure? Yo, I'm not I'm not gonna lie to you, France. I think Did he go 0 for 4 in the fourth quarter, Vlad? <laughs> France, I think what happened was throwing Nunu. Yo, for, like you were saying, right? When when Nunu was painting her narrative, right? And I'm like, hey, this isn't being uh, you know, the unbiased here. This isn't being, you know what I'm saying, a partisan person. Yeah, yeah, like you legit setting it up, you know what I'm saying, for Chilla to lose in this battle. You know what I mean? So it's like that energy, that juju, that vibe that was coming off of Nunu out there. And then she brought it into the battle. And I think B Dot has his rhythm. He has his pace. And she Girl, comes in, what? she might have threw his pacing off, his rhythm she off. Feels now he had one more thing off. to talk about. You know what I mean? So then from there on, <clears throat> you have one little slip up and it throws off your whole rhythm. Like B Dot was saying, round. he's a guy who goes off a of cadence, he's a guy who goes off a of rhythm and being in pockets. And as a musician, when you're out of the pocket and you can't find your way back into the groove, like I think, it, it makes you sound off. I think B dot I think I, 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 for it because he no, that was not gonna hit regardless of if that I don't care. That was not gonna hit. Like, see the reason why people love him, man, is cause you know when he bring out his little bro show out, it hits. It's an impact. It's a moment. If you are going to bring somebody out during your round, it has to hit. It has to be a moment. It has to seal the haymaker that you're trying to do. That did not happen in this case. Period. I want. I want to tell B dot. Hey B dot. Just for the, just for the future, bars uh, bars against new new work, not bars with her. All right. <laughs> hey France, man, you've been mad critical of you know your favorite female, uh, your favorite woman rapper. You know, what I'm saying Miss Hustle bringing out people. Now uh, we have now we have B dot the God in a battle. This was not you know a, a, a champion. Know. This was not a champion sanctioned battle for champion of the year. But in my little eyes, this was the battle. For my, you know, <laughs> you win this. This has big implications. You know what, what you I'm saying? Say? What do you feel about him bringing out someone in a battle of this much importance? First, what you of, say? first and foremost, I'm disrespected that you even put B dot and Miss Hustle in the same <laughs> sentence. <laughs> well, hey, that, okay, let's get past that. that. Now that, what? So, now so, what? So the second thing is, B dot used a prop. That's okay. It just failed. Miss Hustle brings in people for material that she cannot complete. All right. So it's not the same. It's not the same thing. That hate okay, is real right, in your right. heart. That's not hate. It's Get the truth. Then the new new rap, the new new rap two bars. Miss Hustle's bringing out people to complete rounds for her. Listen, man, this is a battle How versus. Dare you. This is a battle versus the <laughs> King Pen 
like I said once again, in my humble opinion, for the champion of the year, and yeah, you're wasting on, yeah, time yeah, bringing yeah, in other people. Them, yeah, I the cannot say I'm them. a hate. I can't say I'm a hater. If it's the truth, he brought in a prop. She brings in other rappers. It's not the same. I, I, I the, hear, the woman, I the hear. woman who came back from battle rap after a five year hiatus and had more rounds with people assisting her than rounds by herself. Come so on. Like, so this is like the equivalence of Snake Eyes bringing out Bonnie a little bit for them couple of bars. This, this is more than that because Nunu did not spit any more than she just spit two bars. Oh man, she tried to, she tried to gank my man Chilla Jones before the battle, son. Like that's crazy. You try to gank them that's before crazy. the battle. How about she this? To, how about, how about to, this, guys? Stop bringing people in. Stop, stop bringing people in. All right? How about that? Salute to just the... make if they if you go. I don't mind that. It's just got to hit. Salute to the it tooth. Got to hit. Tooth in the nah, building. Nah, man. Listen, it's not I'm... like we ain't seen people do it before and it 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 hit. Like this. I'm not. I'm, I'm gonna say. I'm, that I'm, 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 I'm gonna be honest. Put time towards we can find ones that hit, but that just did not. I gotta be real. Every prop so far in the caffeine setting, like I can't think of one that's like really landed. Like oh that 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 walkie that walkie talkie, the audio on the phone, like that was. Oh, man. We'll get to that. Okay, All right. yeah, Austin was landed when he battled T-Top that night. I'll tell you that much. That was not in a caffeine setting. That was on a whole Oh, ass... setting. My bad. I got you. I got you. <laughs> it was on caffeine, though, man. That joint definitely lit. Lex, are we going to talk about it, Lex? Because you know what? That Nunu probably wasn't even as bad as these props. Ours and West Head. Yo. All right, let's uh, we'll, we'll get to Arson. We'll, we'll get to Arson West, but I want to talk about Geechee and Goods because uh, I feel like that battle is extremely debatable, and I got the chance to really listen to a lot of Geechee's yeah. material over the weekend that been servicing in clips, and he had a lot of good material. I know I want to ask the people: Was Geechee's performance against Goods the best he's had this year? When you think about the Charlie Clips, the Averb, the, the Chilla Jones, and the Twerk battle. See, Mad Link says yes. J Block says nah. Clips freestyle count as a prop. <laughs> says G. Geechee on the decline. Says DC man. I gotta run it back. Says Chris. Uh, yes, it was. Says one. Hey CJ, I'm not NY bias, man. New Yorkers hate New Yorkers. Like, it's impossible. We're not, performance we can't... same as Verb and Clips performance. Really basketball man? Uh, I don't know. Arrogant D Hood. Thank you for sharing that broadcast, brother. Geechee snap. That's why I said he moved up. Says Boss Man. No, his performance was the reason he lost. Goods was there in the second and third. He kind of 30 toured badly. So I guess for him, the tour, for Dave's, the tour performance. It happens sometimes, CJ. Some some New Yorkers are biased, but a lot of New Yorkers hate New Yorkers. Goods, no slouch. Anthony 2K9 says, three times champion of the year. Wow. Hardcore flavor, thank you for the props. He says the twerk battle what? was his best battle of the year. I ain't mad at that. I ain't mad at that at all. Hmm. Geechee was crazy, says CJ. Thank you for the props. Vlad CC, was Geechee's performance against Goods his best this year? Ah, it's up there. It's up there as one of the best. I definitely want to watch this battle one more time. By the time this battle came on, France, I was drained and fatigued, brother. But I made it through the battle. And Drunk. honestly, you know, the, the, the critical critiques that I had about Geechee about having one strong round and the other two rounds is jumping into Tesla. He definitely didn't jump into Tesla and in cruise control in this battle. He definitely was there. He wrote, he performed, he had the intensity for all three rounds. He went back to the type of third rounds that we know and love him for. So I salute Geechee. This was a complete performance. It's one of his, absolutely one of his top performances of the year. You know, I want to run it back one more time to catch whatever I missed, just to really analyze it and see where it sits. But it was definitely one of his better performances this year. Absolutely. I I gotta watch it one more time because I ain't go I ain't gonna hold you up. I was starting to feel that crown around this time. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not even gonna hold you up. I was feeling that crown. I was feeling it. So uh I feel like a sober mind needs to uh rewatch this <laughs> to make sure. Mm-hmm. I know what I'm talking about, but I ain't gonna hold you up though. I kind of am edging goods on this battle on first watch, mm. but I will say that you know I need to watch this battle again. I ain't gonna hold you up. No, this battle I, I definitely need to watch, need to watch one more again. time. But I remember after the end of the battle, before I say this was his best battle of the year. 
Yeah, after oh. the after the end of the battle, I know I edged Geechee, but in all honesty, it's just like, listen, I definitely really? need to watch. I, you know, just like I said, just you like first. You didn't like how Gus was talking? That second round, he was talking crazy. Good first Ooh, round, let's not lie. It took Goods a hot second to warm up. Yo, that first round okay. was a little Lizite. You know what I'm saying? The first round from Goods was a little Lizite. And then Geechee, tur- he, he showed up in the first. He turned up in the second. And I thought, yo, this might... Good lights, third. Lights might go out in this one. But then when Good started with that boss... Yo, when, when Geechee, boss, when, boss, yo, when Geechee I'm said... Like, All right, Goods, you back. When Geechee said, I battle twerk... Mm-hmm. Chilla, clips, verb, almost all on the road. Whether you think I'm two, three, three, two, bitch, I've been in the zone. Oh my god, that yeah, was hard. that was fire, man. That was that was hard. fire. That was fire. But no, good second round when he got to that boss talk. Yeah. I said, all right, you're doing this the right way, no. cause I can rock with this. This is fire. So I had it, you know, one, 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 and then going into the third. Yo, like, ledge, that was hard, that. ledge. Take it easy. No, man. that was fire, man. I felt like Goods tried to continue more of that boss talk, but I could see it as somewhat as it being preference to people. It's like, yo, I'm continuing this. It's a preference. He's going back to what he does in the classic Geechee third. So I want to watch that third one. JP. Goods made me check my credit score that night. After that battle, I checked my credit score. I pulled out my credit karma. I checked my credit score because Goods be making me feel like I need to get my life together. He was talking to me too. I wasn't Hey, Muscle Hamster. Muscle Hamster. Muscle Hamster. Salute on a, another together. weekend, Muscle Hamster. <laughs> another weekend yeah. in the books. It's been a successful year. Yeah. Foreclosure uh, bar goods had too. Yeah, that was fire, man. No, goods did his thing. Y'all, I gotta watch it again. I gotta watch it again. Goods did his thing. I just go one of 60 points because of time. goods. <laughs> Hey, listen, man. Crit- listen, maybe maybe next year we get a credit repair sponsor, man. You know, I don't know. Ooh, I don't know. Hey, if y'all listen he needs there. on his show. He be a uh, rocket mortgage, credit karma. <laughs> he be all of them sponsors for his show. Oh, God. Let's oh, go. Man. Shout out to Elisa because, yes, I, yo. I'm leaning towards I'm leaning towards this first watch, but again, that's when I was feeling that crown. <laughs> And I was I was a little wobbly in my seat <laughs> watching it like. Nah, so nah, I, I gotta watch that one more I, time. I think I, think I kind of have Geechee winning it by an edge, it but it's kind of like the all his battles the entire year where it's competitive. Um, he doesn't lose clearly, nor does he win clearly. And and Goods gave him his props. He said, "Yo, one thing I'm going to say." End quote. One thing I'm going to say about Geechee, he battles all the time, and he's never whack. He's so mm-hmm. fucking consistent. It's hard to beat. It's the yeah, truth, man. man. That that alone, I will say this: for somebody that battles once a month, and not just once a month, like on a little league, the level of competition. Your man battled Twerk, Chilla, Clips, Verb, mm-hmm. and Goods all in the same year, and didn't lose any of those guys. Clearly, yeah, man. All I'm gonna say is I definitely agree with what Goods said in some of his post uh, battle interviews. Like, with hip hop is real, and 15 minutes of fame. Shout out to those guys. I definitely agree. We got to stop downing goods so much. I feel like we do this a lot with goods. Before the battle, we all concerned and like, oh, I don't know if it's going to work, if it's going to hit, if he's going to be able to talk to this person like he talked to. Bruh, we got to stop doing that with goods. Yeah. Now, salute to Geechee. You know, this is another battle that, listen, you can't say that he clearly lost. I tell you that much. Like, this ain't a battle that you could be like, yo, goods got this clearly. And I wouldn't want to jump out the window and be like, Geechee got this one clearly either. You know what I mean? Yeah. So this one to me, no one clearly lost. I did like that Goods was, he did his thing, man. He hung in there. He stayed true to who he was. And like I said, that second round, he found a nice lane there. He found a nice formula there. I was definitely yeah. messing with that. And Goods was good. You know what I mean? I feel like us looking at their backs while they're rapping the whole time too is like, ah, this is, take it away from what's being said. So I know that there had to be points in times where I'm just either tuned out or just like complaining about that we're looking at their backs. You know what I mean? So I want to watch it one more time again just to hear what's being said and just to really have a final pick for this battle. Uh, I got one quick question. I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys are going to say no, 
but I, I do want to say there should be a little bit more respect for the two-time champ. Is there any case in the world where there's a three-P for Geechee? No, 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 no. We not doing it. Pack everybody up that says yes. See, this is but this is this is this is a disrespect I'm talking about though. <laughs> because I still think, regardless, Geechee is dead as a top five battle rapper. Like I think I will put him in my fifth spot. Legit. I don't think he's he I, not getting I don't, the belt. I, I don't think so. I don't think so. But from being a two time champ and then still being number fifth, like that's number fifth. <laughs> number five. I'm sorry. Num you don't tell Nico what I said. You tell him I said what I said. And if he got a problem with me, he could bring his light skin to me. Okay, we're going to have a light skin beige war up in this mug. Because, I mean, Geechee not getting no third belt. But, but hold on, hold on. But 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 here's my thing. Here, here's my problem with your your energy. Why can't we appreciate that he has two belts and is still a top five battle rapper? You know how hard that is? I'm not saying not to appreciate it. I said he's not going to win it. He could be top five or top ten on the list after after everything is said up, but he's not going to be number one. Is what I'm saying. <laughs> one. I don't care if he's second, third, fourth, fifth in your list. I don't give a damn. But he ain't gonna be one. Mm. And y'all know I love Geechee, but I ain't no hanging ass bitch either. No, get no. We're not about to be biased. No, we're not about to do this. Mm -hmm. We're not about to do this. That's close. Where y'all at? Yes, host. Now, is that a problem that I say he ain't number one? Nah, I just don't like the energy. I don't like the hell. Nah, no, no. It's like nah. Gucci's year is no! pretty. You just like, say does like, he have a place like that? No. I think no, he's, he I, lost the chiller. What are you talking about? I think his year is pretty phenomenal still, regardless. He had a good year, but it is not better. No, he, no, he, no, 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 we're not doing that. No, 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 no. And right now I got him losing to goods, but again, I said I need a sober mind. So we watch the battle. Talk. But I'm leaning more towards good. So, and I got Verb getting him too. So that's three right there. That's three L's, even though I know he did good. And listen, so I, 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 I also, get smoked, I also said I no, I, I also right said there. no from the beginning, but you know, I just, I just, I feel like we're never going to see something like this again. Like, you're never going to see a person that was going to win and still stay at a high level the following year, let alone repeat and stay at a high level the following year. And let's not front. The Nobody's first, at the first, at the first half of this though. year, at the first half of this year, before Chilla and B Dot made a wave, Geechee was still like, oh, is he number one? He was. He was. There, there, was, like, there was like four or five months where you're like, yo, Geechee's still number one right now. Yeah, Nobody's not saying that, friends, but I'm saying he should not win champion of the year right this year. Nobody is not putting flowers on. A, I just got done for a whole month saying that I don't want Geechee to sit down because I love what he does and I enjoy him. <laughs> Damn, you being sensitive right now just because I said he ain't, I don't got him winning the belt. Damn, ain't nobody disrespecting that man. Ain't nobody giving him flowers for his year. He had a good year. <laughs> I ain't being sensitive. I just, I just want to make sure we, we, we appreciating greatness while it's happening. We don't take it for granted. We not. Yo, but one thing I gotta like give. Other people have done, have had more of a better year as far as how many W's and L's they had. You know, like that's what I'm saying, G. Like, come on, bro. One we're thing like, I gotta bro. give Geechee props for is that he definitely realized that the people were like, "Yo, listen, dog." We need all three of them things, man. And he sat back, took them 40 days off, and said, you know what? I'm going to show up with all three of these things just for you guys. He did. I got to close the year out like in true champion fashion and give you full effort for this entire battle. Yeah. All right? Because we know, Geechee. Sue know. Sir Floyd made a good case here. We're giving Will flowers for wins against Miss Miami and Your Honor while Geechee is battling high-level comp. Oh. Oh, mm. oh my god. Mm. Oh my god. Sue Surf Lawyer. Mm. So you just gonna bypass the fact that he beat John John. You gonna bypass the fact that he beat Danny. Okay, Tasha, I hear you typing, but I'm saying it. You gonna <laughs> <laughs> I hear Tasha typing. You're gonna just bypass those wins? I mean, they're, they're, look, again, Geechee has well, losses. Geechee, mean, Geechee has mean, losses, but on paper, his schedule is still tougher than most. For sure. Yeah, but he got, he, 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 on the he, other side, though, man. How many 30s he going to get? He got, he got, got, he he got L's. He got L's. I'm, 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 I'm leaving it there. How many 30s is Ill cool, you know going to get? I would love to see 
Marv won when the Grand Prix and Ill Will Ooh. win champion of the year. That will make up for the horrendous year I have had to endure. When, that was Michigan would never stop partying. Yo, we will never, never. stop talking shit. They're like, well, I told y'all we were the new Mecca. I you told y'all we the Mecca of Battle Rap. Y'all gonna hate me. Y'all gonna hate me. Oh, you're going to hate me. You're gonna be like, oh, but, I don't like to watch that show no more because of CC. That's what y'all gonna say. Look at Les Detroit, we here. All right, Les. Come on, Les. Les, you already know. If what? Even though Will from the Yak. Don't be a rap. Yo, Michigan would be partying all year long when it comes to it's battle rap. <laughs> Calico gonna be like, oh man, we gotta have some of Madness Mac. You gotta bring this here, Smack. They got I mean, both sides. Like... did a few battles in Detroit, but I'm just saying it can be done. Mm. It can be done. All right, let's talk a little bit about Jerry West and Arsenal. Uh, oh, so Jerry cool. West had a phenomenal year. Uh, Smack through the kitchen. Table and sink at him all year long, right? They gave him nothing but high level elite competition. Threw him John John the Don, Rum Nitty. Then they gave him Shotgun Shug. Then they gave him Chilla Jones while he's scorching on this champion of the year run. Uh, mm-hmm. Battle B Magic. Then also got Danny Myers on the West and Arsenal. Seven tough, well, five tough URL battles. Carly. <laughs> let's, let's talk a little bit about Jerry West's ceiling and his potential. Uh, and, 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 and the year he's had. What do you guys think of his 2020? It's been a decent 2020. I told what y'all what you guys think out there? there. Jerry got stock in caffeine. <laughs> Jerry <laughs> West like Chris Paul. A lot of first and second round exits. Yikes. Jerry West wasn't bad. The third round prop ain't worse as JP won this. No. Jerry Fire says Tata. Uh, Bill beat Oz. He had a dope 2020 says JP run this. Jerry had great battles and lost most. Jerry is a good name, says Jay Black. <laughs> Who got That's Jerry funny. in the top five? <laughs> That's funny. Hilarious. He had a good year, smack through him to some killers. Jerry had a champion of the year resume. He just didn't win, says Kid <laughs> Jay Scott. Facts. 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 <laughs> if I ever meet Jerry, I'm checking my wallet, says Bossman615. <laughs> Jerry should be in the top 10, says the syndicate group. Good year, but he can't be reusing props against vets. Number six says Blue B78. Jerry should get most improved. Easy, says James Dom. I got a statistic here. Let's go. Jerry West, New Jersey Twerk, and Geechee Gotti all battled Shotgun Shug, Arsenal, and Rum Nitty within a 12 month span. So that's a good little uh, piece of data to go okay. off of to measure how Jerry West did against these names. How does how Geechee Gotti and Twerk were throwing these names? You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Mm-hmm. And, and I, I think the consensus would say he's probably one and two. Mm. Well, you could probably say Geechee's probably one and two, 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 uh, two and one. Same, same case, same scenario there. Right, right. But I, but I do feel like they gave Jerry West a Geechee twerk push a little bit, right? They threw him all those names that those guys have battled. Mm-hmm. Um, it was a hard test to pass, for the most part. Uh, failed some, but showed a lot of potential. But if he stays on this path. He could be a high-level guy. I do want to see him take a step down now. I don't want to see him battle no more big names. I want to see him battle somebody a little bit more on the come-up. You know what I'm saying? Like, maybe like a Luke Castro. I would really love, love Jerry West versus Luke Castro. Yeah, but they threw him in there to see if he would sink. He didn't sink, necessarily. He, he was definitely treading water out there. He almost drowned a few times. The lifeguard had to come get him. But he's still, he's still head above waters, though. You know what I'm saying? Like, he's still head above waters, and he's taking in that oxygen. You know what I mean? But, yo, man, after you disrespected Smack, he definitely threw you off the yacht and said, all right, brother, can you make it back to the boat? And he's, like, right there, man. I can see the ladder. All you got to do is grab it, start climbing up that ladder. You know what nah, I mean? Because you survived the he water. he reached for the ladder, and his yeah. finger flips. A few times. I don't know if he. I don't know if he got. Those, he's still right he by the side, side of the yacht, yet. though. He's still right by the know. side of the yacht. I mean, Arsenal was. Arsenal was dope, man. Arsenal was doing no, his. No, that boat about to leave his ass. Arsenal was doing yeah. his rapping thing. I wasn't mad at it at all. He just showed like the. It was just a difference in just the presence, the way he dominated that street. You know what I'm saying? Like the pace that he had, the cadence that he had, the confidence that he had in his bars. Like you just felt Arsenal more in that battle, you know what I mean? <laughs> Whereas with with um, with Jerry, he's very creative, he's super creative, but sometimes like if it doesn't land as hard as he anticipates or as much as we think it is, 
then it just kind of highlights Arsenal's style a little bit more, man. So then, you know, the prop didn't, but Arsenal also had a prop that kind of fizzled out too. So they can cancel each other out with that one. I'm going to hear what ours, ours was, I didn't, I didn't understand. I felt like ours had the exact same audio that Jerry was trying to play. I'm like, what is happening? So you know what that means, man. Watch who you sharing your content with, Battlers. And who you right? sparring with, yep. You think these people are your friends. And the next thing you know, everybody's passing blunts around laughing at your third round. You know what I'm saying? So be careful. Be careful out there. Yeah, I agree with the chat. It didn't hit either way. It's I, so unnecessary. It was so unnecessary. It didn't, it didn't add no value. It didn't really make me like, maybe if there was a crowd, it would be different. But them in that empty ass Hollywood set. Nah, but and ours was dope I was though, like, man. what? Let's not take away anything from Arsenal either. Three rounds, he brought it. He did what oh, he Arsenal was supposed to it. do. Yeah. Nah, he I did with... Arsenal, yeah. I have Arsenal to win. I was right. Arsenal won. And I'm not about to debate nobody on this battle. Right. So, you know, a battle like this, I feel like when you look at it again and you watch it back, you're like, yo, you know what? This battle wasn't bad. I feel like okay. there's a handful of these battles from last night that upon, you know, replay, you're going to be like, yo, I ain't mad at this battle. You know what I mean? I feel like I feel I feel like like I said, ours and Jerry, it wasn't bad. I feel like ours, you know, definitely definitely I, was good. I'm not gonna lie to y'all. I feel like he kinda coasted too in a little a little bit. He was kinda coasting and then would pop, coast a little bit, pop. But I'm not gonna lie to y'all, man. Even even Twitter felt off on Saturday, yo. Like normally it's like, yo, you wake up, you hype. You're back and forth with everybody. You're dropping the hashtags. People are commenting on this. Hey, You're Jack, following new people. New people are following you. It just kind of felt like it's a Saturday with battles on. And I'm like, no, man, this is the volume. Like, what's happening? Like, what is the disconnect? Right Listen, here? man, the disconnect was that you did not have the volume kings. There was no room nitty, no old mm -hmm. red, no New Jersey mm -hmm. twerk. You know what I'm saying? These three guys are staple to this series, and there's no coincidence that none of the three guys on the car was the worst volume of the series. But you also got to give new people a chance, and I ain't going front, man. This 8 p.m. start, yo. This 8 p.m. start late. is getting crazy, man. Dog, like, it's too late, especially when I've been drinking all day because, you know, I had my little go-away parties this weekend and stuff, man. <laughs> I was on popping mimosa bottles in the morning. I'm drinking Crown at night. I'm tired. <laughs> Yeah, you, you made you made a good point, Vlad, about uh, bringing I'm new people tired. on. Yeah. I definitely think uh, we're gonna make a list. Probably bring it out tomorrow and see all the names that were on Caffeine Live events, right. um, excluding the tournaments, obviously. But I think there's a lot of names in rotations that you know we should we should see some new names because yeah. Easy's making his volume debut was gonna be so electric. That would have been fine, and it literally would have changed the entire landscape of the event. Like he could have, if the event oh, was a six yeah. out of ten, Easy and Top could have brought it to like seven and a half out of ten at least. I yeah, give absolutely. this a five point five or six tops, but I really felt like yeah, we we yeah we got we lost not having Top and Easy on that on that oh card God. last night Yo, or Saturday night. Do y'all remember the days when the pay per view would start at three? The stream started at three, and we still were ending the same time that we did on Saturday, yo. My God in heaven! Oh, I do not man. miss those days. We were some nah, but the, 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 the people, the people were missing those days, right? Oh, I want to <laughs> win my pay per views back. I, I want to pay. I don't miss those days having to wait and having 30, 45 hour. On long intermissions in between battles, you got me fucked up. I'm not about. I don't miss that. I ain't gonna front. Man. I don't miss that. I think about this twelve months. Th these twelve months that are gonna pass once February come around, the amount of battle rap content that I've gotten from URL for free. If you calculated those into what you would have been paying <laughs> for pay per views, oh my gosh, man! Thank you for helping me save this money this year. Okay, and delivering me more entertainment, yo. I ain't on front. Free ninety nine. You cannot beat that, Reggie. Hey, Tell I ain't on front. I want to. I want to. I want to end our show with this real quick. I know this. It's one of the battles that went under the radar over the weekend. Shouts mm -hmm. to Premier Battle League. They had Shuffle T and Soul. Phenomenal battle. I just want to say this much. That battle is actually better than almost every battle in Volume Six. Ooh. So if you guys can go out and purchase that VOD. Um, s salute to the UK for that. You know what I'm saying? Battle Rap International uh, does have some waves when it makes noise sometimes. And um, it was a solid battle for sure. Absolutely, man. 
Don't front of the UK man them. Them put on good bottles too. You can watch them. So definitely give it a check. Check it out, man. Check it out. I ain't gonna front. I'm into all that kind of all them kinds of battles, man. Where can we where can we see it, friends? Uh, you gotta go purchase the VOD, but I, I got, oh, I, got, I, got sure. I got I got I got something for you. Batman got... signal in the air, y'all! Come on, come on! You know I'm hey, never. You know, the one the one thing caffeine has made is made people very spoiled like... to purchasing vods. I think vods are gonna go extinct <laughs> very soon. Eric and Hood, I ain't follow you. I'll follow you after this. I I don't I don't act light skin all the time. Okay, no, I'm it... usually the father back queen. Okay, it's gotta be like. Listen, man, either you're going to have a live event that I could buy a pay-per-view for. Because like Francis is saying, man, them VODs, when you're not watching something live, it's hard to press that purchase button. But I do understand we are in a pandemic and everyone's trying to put on. So if you got it, man, support Battle Rap. If you like the people on the card, support Battle Rap so they can keep on doing their thing. Battle Rap is worldwide and we want to see it continuing to develop. So salute to the UK. Hardcore Flavor says he's going to get his vaccine shot. I'm sacrificing for y'all. Man, Follow black man, be careful. Let me know how y'all feel afterwards. So when your bad rap opinion starts sounding weird, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll be able to make logic sense of it. Is that a vaccine? That's a symptom. Yo, if you come out here talking like Conway, man, I don't know. Bro. They say RIP to hardcore. They're saying last time we see hardcore flavor, good luck. Yo. <laughs> Good luck, brother. He said, rest in peace, hardcore forever. Hey, hey. <laughs> Yo, you don't even want to wait around, man. Oh, oh look at Juan. Damn, that's so dope. <laughs> <laughs> They're killing him. Yo, this is crazy. They're killing man. him. They're killing hardcore, him. Hardcore was a good guy. This is so funny. Bruh. You putting yourself out there on the front lines, man? For oh, what? Boy, for what? Take one. Like, oh. No, you ain't got to take one for humanity and mankind. No, we need you around, dog. We need hey. be like, this is for battle rap. We <laughs> this is for battle battle rap. Hey, real quick, last announcement before we get out of here, guys. <laughs> Um, major announcement this Wednesday there will no there will not be a LTBR daily show. Vlad will be celebrating his lovely his wife's birthday. CC will be moving, and I will be traveling. So Wednesday there will be no LTBR daily, but we will have a Tuesday and Thursday show. Just letting y'all know ahead of time. Yes, man. Got to do grown man things and make sure that the queen feels like the queen that she is for taking another trip around the sun. You know what I'm saying? So fellas, if y'all wife's birthdays are coming up, man, then definitely. Celebrate that. Let her know that she is special, y'all. You heard? Ah, oh, Shez, man. I can't even read these out loud. <laughs> we still trying I to manage the one we got. Top tier says, so y'all slacking to do real life stuff? <laughs> Losers. <laughs> hey, Ledge, take our morning slot Wednesday. <laughs> hey, enjoy enjoy, enjoy it. Let's come through, man. <laughs> Losers. Oh, man. Word to mother, man. All right, man. Oh, man. But thank you, everyone, for tuning in. Check in tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. We will be back on it. There was so much extra stuff that happened over the weekend that we didn't even get to. Best believe we will be getting to them tomorrow. So definitely, everyone, have a great day, and we'll see you all tomorrow at 10.30 a.m. And when you get out of here, go subscribe to our YouTube. Yo, we're less than 100 people away from 1,000, man. So go subscribe to the YouTube. You catch playbacks of these episodes. So... Salute to everyone for tuning in. Appreciate the props. Joe Lissa, Harley, Burning August, PV Dasa. Peace.